Bob O'Reilly here with Focus Industries. This is an instructional video on how to program our digital timer that ships with all uh, Focus Industries low voltage transformers. Uh, first of all, when you first plug in the transformer, you'll see a uh, blinking screen. That means it's, uh, it's ready to be programmed, you're, you're, you're ready to start. Uh, if you don't see this, or if you're trying to reset the, uh, the timer, uh, you can use a little paper clip and hit this little reset button in there, hold it down for three to five seconds, and then release it, and it'll go through a, a setup function, it'll come back to the flashing screen. If you hit the flashing screen, you're good. Um, if you're still having difficulties setting it up, unplug the transformer and let it sit for like 20 seconds and then plug it back in. Sometimes these timers can act kind of like computers where you need to shut it down completely and, and turn the power off to get back to the, to the flashing screen. Okay, so the first thing is to uh, initialize the uh, transformer. You hold down the clock button and the H plus button and it'll take you to the 12 a.m. screen. The next step is uh, your uh, daylight savings if you're in daylight savings right now and daylight savings is on March through November daylight savings is off November through March um, the button down here plus one H that's your daylight savings uh, hit it if you're in a daylight savings period if not currently I'm in January so I'm going to turn that off so daylight savings is not uh, clicked on um, next you need to set the current time to do this you're going to hold down the uh, clock button through the entire procedure. So press that, hold it down. Uh, first thing that we're going to do is to set the, uh, the, the time. So H plus is hour, M plus is minute. So right now it is 9.35 here, so I'm going to hit the H plus button, the hour plus button, bring it up to 9 a.m. Minutes, we're going to take that up to 35. Nine thirty-five a.m. Still keep holding on to this clock button. You see, I'm still holding down. Okay. Next, we got to set the day, uh, which is the day button. So you'll see up the top left-hand corner, it'll say M.O. for Monday, and you'll just go through them: Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Currently, today it is Friday, so I'm going to leave that on Friday. And now you're done. Release the clock button. Current time, date is set. Now we're going to set the uh, program on off events. Uh, there's seven different events that you can program in here. So in other words, you can program for the entire week, uh, lights to come on at a certain time, go off at a certain time. You can program it for weekdays on off a certain time, weekends different on off. Uh, you can program it, program it individual days, Monday through Sunday. Um, in this case, I'm going to set it up for the entire week. We want the lights to turn on at 6 p.m and we want them to turn off at 5 a.m. in the morning. So to do that, first we hit the timer button, and then we hit the day button to select the events. In this case, it says Monday. I want to do it for the entire week. So I'll go through all days of the week until they all pop up. So they're all seven days of the week pop up. So that's the event I want to program. Um, next, we want to set the, uh, the time on. And you see down at the bottom left hand corner it should say one on. So this is the time that you want it to go on. Uh, we said 6 p.m. So I'm going to scroll through and set it at 6 p.m. Hit your timer to set that on time. You'll come to a blank screen and you'll see that it says one off. So this is event one off. Again, you're going to need to set the, uh, the days of the week that you want. So hit the day button. Go through until you see in this case we wanted it every day of the week. So set it up where it says Monday through Sunday across the screen and then use your hour button to set the time off. We said we wanted them to turn off at 5 so I'll set that at 5 a.m. Hit your timer again and your event 1 is set. Now you'll see event 2 if you wanted to program other days and get more intricate with it you can do that. Um, you'll see as you go through hitting the timer button that it goes all the way up to seven different events so I'll bring that back to event 1 just to double check, event one on, I've got 6 p.m., that's correct. I'll hit the timer button again. Event one off is at 5 a.m., that's correct. So now I'm all done. Hit the uh, clock button, and it will reset to uh, the, the current time, and you're basically finished. Uh, the only thing you would need to do is if it's nighttime, um, there's an override button here. You hit that button and turn your lights on, 
and then the timer will take over and turn it off in the morning. If you're setting it during the daytime, which I am now, we don't need the lights on, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave that off. Um, that override button is also uh, a very good function if, for example, um, you needed to turn your lights off for a, a function or, or, or something or other. There is this override that won't affect any of the settings or anything like that. It's just a manual turn the lights on, turn the lights off. And that's how you set up the digital timer.